not many people know that FTM is also common in Indonesia because the picture that we have is usually the image of African countries, especially sub-Saharan African countries. But, you know, FCM happens everywhere, including in Indonesia as well. This, this is also one of the factors that I also would like to debunk. And I think that is very important for us to realize that it's not just the problem of people in certain countries, but it's a global issue. So um, actually the, the Indonesian communities in general, they're quite open in talking about FCM. And because in 2006, the government was trying to ban it, but then retracted that. And then in 2010, there was that pressure from a variety of different groups to actually legalize it. And the government stepped in and then issued a kind of government regulation that it's okay as long as it was conducted by medical uh, professionals. So it's very public in that case. But even before then, you know, because it's part of the people's daily life, so they talk about it. But in terms of people talking in public, I think it's, it's quite common there. The, the biggest impact of uh, FCM to me personally is more uh, awareness and critical thinking on it rather than physical uh, or even psychological aspect of it. So as, as a teacher, as, as a faculty member, I feel like I have responsibility to you know provide the information and also dialogue about this. That's part of the reasons why I'm doing this right now is because I think it's very important for people to know about the impacts, not only physical impact or medical impacts or even psychological impacts, but also uh, the impact, well, to some extent is psychological, but you know, uh, the impact on the notion of self, you know, to me, that is the most important thing is who I am and who I become is the most important impact in, in terms of FGM.